Have you ever felt that strong sense of tension between you and another person? Though it's not the type of tension that is actually anger, but the nicer kind of feeling that has been labeled sexual tension. You probably have experienced it before or will experience it in your lifetime. Now, it is kind of hard to explain, but if you have experienced it before, you know exactly how it feels. There are certain signs that show there is sexual tension between two people that can help you identify if you have felt it before or to help you identify it in the future. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the strongest signs of sexual tension between two people so that you can identify them now and in the future. Like and subscribe, let's go. The awkward conversations, the very first sign is one that can kind of go either way, it's those awkward conversations. This one could actually be telling you that the girl you are talking to is not interested or that things are not going well. For it to apply to sexual tension, then you need to have some of the other signs that I'm going to be telling you about in today's video. Now, it can be awkward at the start with sexual tension because you might be talking about, say, intimate things, or you could both be overwhelmed by your feelings, making you very nervous. It's not the easiest way to identify sexual tension, but it's one of the strongest ways. Contact you both look at each other straight in the eye, then you look away, and then you look at them from across the room. It's lingering, it's sexy, and it's very intimate. Only you and her know what is going on. This is a sure sign that you have sexual tension between you both. If you want to make that sexual tension a little bit more intense, then you can use eye contact to get it there. Make sure to look at her when she speaks to you and make some sexy eye contact. Staring you find yourself staring at her, and her staring at you. Now, it's different from eye contact, which is often quick and happens more when you are enjoying a conversation together. Staring is often slow and you kind of hold that gaze. Other people can often sense when you are staring at someone as well. It's something you often do when you just cannot get enough of someone. You feel such a tension between you both that you can look at them quite literally for hours. Just make sure not to creep out your girl when you are staring, and make sure you do break away. You daydream about the other person if you are daydreaming about another person. It probably means that you do like them, and that there is that sexual tension between you both. You might daydream about just doing simple things with them or doing some more intimate things, maybe something along the sexual measure. You want to be around that person all of the time, hence why they're always up there in your mind. You might even find it very, very difficult to focus on a task because all you can really picture is them. The atmosphere, have you ever felt a feeling in the atmosphere that you just cannot quite put your finger on? You're looking at a girl that you really like and she's looking directly into your eyes and suddenly the air around you feels different. It's as if there's that surge of energy and electricity in the air. This is what we call a sexual atmosphere filled with tension. There's a certain teenage feeling that surrounds you both. Remember that feeling you had as a teenager when your stomach falls to your feet when you meet someone that you like. If you find yourself starting to feel like you have a teenage crush, then that is a strong sign that you both have sexual tension. You can keep those teenage feelings going strong by arranging fun dates. Both flirt non-stop. This is one of the strongest signs of sexual tension that flirting absolutely never stops. You both are going back and forth like you are playing a tennis match with each other. As soon as you are in that same space as someone that you have that sexual tension with, you can't help yourself. There is a non-stop flirting disco happening right there, and then you will start worrying about how you look around them, worrying about your hair. Maybe you're constantly fiddling around with your clothing, doing those little things to really make a difference and to grab their attention. You both look great together. Maybe everyone comments on how great you guys look. You have your friends saying, you know what, dude? You actually look really good together with that lady. You look like you're actually supposed to be together. They might be sensing that tension between you both or that you really do like each other and no one's making the next move. People who are close to us can normally pick up on this a lot sooner before we do. You also might be acting kind of like a couple already, so if this is a thing, enjoy this stage. Smile all of the time when you are both together, you cannot stop smiling. Even when you are apart, you are smiling when you are thinking about them. If they ping your phone, you have an instant smile on your face. Everything she does makes you smile and you feel like you have never been this happy in your life ever. You also find that you smirk when you speak to her but in a very flirty way. These early stages of smiling and sexual tension really do feel amazing, don't they? You laugh a lot, you laugh all of the time when you are both together. You cannot stop laughing about the small things. You find yourself laughing more than you normally would. When you are apart as well, you just seem a lot happier and friends might even pick up and comment on this too. This means you are literally very happy with them which is a great sign of sexual tension and maybe even possibly a relationship in the future. 
You think about your facial expressions. You try actively to not frown when you are around her, even if it is by mistake. Instead, you are very, very focused on smiling, offering those flirtatious facial expressions and looking at her intently when she's talking. These are all signs of sexual tension. And if you are thinking about how your facial expressions are every second of that conversation, well, it means there is definitely something between you both. Tease each other constantly, just like flirting, you constantly tease each other about everything. It's fun teasing, like calling her clumsy when she drops her fork or giving her a little nudge when she says something funny. It's often very flirty and can easily escalate. This is a huge part of sexual tension as it can often turn into a lot more. You dream about them, not only do you daydream about them, but you also dream about them at night too. These dreams might be more intimate and might be of you both at night. You know what I'm referring to. They will often leave you feeling a little hot under the collar. You might wake up and think, wow, did I really just dream that? You gravitate towards them if you both turn up to the same party. You feel yourself moving towards them, always wanting to be physically close and talking. This is because you both have that undeniable connection and tension that hangs in the air between you both. She might come to you, or you might go to her. Either way, you both have to just be that close to each other. You respond to touch by getting even closer. She places her arm on your leg, and you kind of shuffle towards her. This is common behavior between two people who are experiencing sexual tension. You simply cannot be close enough, and you just keep moving towards each other until you guys are face to face, very close to kissing. You might not even realize that you're actually moving closer towards her. It's something that happens to us subconsciously. Before you know it though, you guys are locking lips. You get butterflies when you are around them. Butterflies are not just something that we hear about in the movies. When you see her walking towards you, your stomach suddenly fills with butterflies. Butterflies will feel like your stomach is flipping and moving around. It happens when we really like someone and often when there is a little bit of sexual tension between you and another person. There you go, we've reached the end of the video. I really hope this video helped. Leave your comments down below. Have an amazing day, like and subscribe and see you soon.